Players playing over the top of it. Twists is keen to get involved. He doesn't want to overplay his hand here. He's kept them at bay in middle while his teammates have secured this B site. Rain is the man to open and Carrigan alongside him going to make quick work of Monty before they even really get set up to retake this round. Love that from FaZe, it's a statement and, and no better duel, I think, to go on than, you know, the, the MVP of FaZe's major, uh, major win in Reign, taking down the star of the show in Boros, right? Straight up long and straight in with a pistol round come FaZe. I like how Maui's uh, discussion lent towards Reign as well on the desk, talking about the cave position, about how we've called him the caveman uh, in this spot. And Reign's gonna go on and slaughter everyone into the site. And so the entries have got to come cleanly. If Boros gets one kill, he might've done his job from this position. Anchor in with seconds to spare. FaZe move up the ramp. There's a flash, but Boris is undeterred, undisturbed until Brokey jumps the corner. The bomb's loose. It's unwinnable for Rops. He can get all the kills. He cannot plant. Monty will win that force by. FaZe cannot sit pretty. They cannot relax. Immediately put under the hammer and Monty get all the kills and save an AK to boot. That could not have gone better. And I love the way they play that. It's so active. They realize they lose cave. They take a lot of space. They funnel FaZe into the into the double setup in Donut. FaZe lose fights on both sides of the map, and they have to just desperate panic back into B. Nice. Couple of smokes. They want to run an X second. DemQQ is already ahead of it. Oh, only the one and done. Waro 2K here was meant oh. to get these trades, but instead ends up feeding rain. Some Dai Young tries to make a play quickly, wants to try and deny this control out through main. Some Dai Young what? is served up on a silver platter, and now they spot the man at default as well. Rain's having one hell of a game right here. Yeah, he has started rip roaring, ready to go. Even that pressure, because you know it feels that much more tied to the game. This is like the crowning jewel achievement in Counter Strike. But uh, you know the fact that it is the last <laughs> one in Global Offensive, I think adds a kind of unique pressure to the table. The scout makes contact, but they don't know the true numbers inside of this site. Even though they've oh, dealt with that yeah. first man, the boost now plays into it. But FaZe is swift with the reply. Out comes Krasnow with the deagle. And it's a lot of damage, but denied at the end by Rain. That's just, just a, the, the kind of yeah. safety net on that round. Oh, they can't. Oh, Boris really caught with Util out inside of the site. He will just make it back in a cave. Trade places, but Monty are here, knocking down the door on the backstab. They've got full lane control. FaZe are in a bit of a weird spot here. They've had to try and push up and pressure, take long away. Bomb is planted for them at least. They go swinging down at the ramp. It's an awkward fight for Twists and Co. And Carrigan should be a dead man here. He's going to get run down. Yeah, that one gets very confusing, right? Once they lose lane, they, they go to try and take long, but then it feels... Hey guys, if you want to upgrade your inventory, make sure to check out Hot Pizza GG. If you haven't played on Hot Pizza yet, make sure to use my promo code VLADAPART to get 50 cents for free, which means you can already open your first case. Also, Hot Pizza add a daily free case, which you can open every 24 hours and get another skin there. If you don't like your skins, you can always try to upgrade them for something you want. Hot Pizza has many cool cases, so if you want to open them, there are different and convenient ways to make a deposit, like credit cards, skins, cryptocurrencies, and many other. Here, as an example, I opened Snowball case for $40 and managed to unbox $228 Huntsman knife. Withdrawing the skin was also super easy. Just go to your inventory, select the skin you want to withdraw, and you will get the trade offer in less than a minute. A link to the website will be in the description below. But this one doesn't inspire the same confidence. Boros, he is going to check for it. And so he opens the round, takes it one step further as Carrigan thrust into the crosshair as well. And I mean, now with lane taken, this has been a bit of a staple of the Monty CT side so far, right? Really wanting to take this control away and look at the triple layered yeah. setup here. Like you're not getting through these doors. He's anti as well. FaZe ain't walking through this door. <laughs> well, they're going to have to try eventually. Don't want to save Glocks. But Krasnow will remind them why it's not the move. Sees a shadow and takes an easy kill. They just sweep the board clean. Monty. On this corner, he will obliterate them, but he hears them leaving. Then QQ can flank. Wara hits the mid shot, and FaZe getting cut apart. Oh, now they know. Hang on. Dem QQ locked in this fight. Oh, and he is going to win it. That's the bomb away from FaZe Clan. The remaining two are churned up Beautiful. on the ramp push. Rain is a dead man. 
And so Monty with a very, very clean... Got nothing to lose with Tech Nines. Get that volley in. Krasnod tries to play ahead of it. And that right there is the difficulty of Cave with those spawns. Reigns now armed. And you said he's been the big game player, Harry. Well, they need him more than ever. Spammed out. Almost dead. It's up to the B-hold. Brokey hits one. But Forrest swinging with flashbangs and very well set up by his squad. Puts him right there for the round. It's up to Rain again. Oh, and that nade tickles him down low with the AWP to finish off. A convincing hold from Monty. Yeah, they take a fair few casualties, but footsteps over towards B. They could tell that that was an up-tempo pace being played by FaZe. They pull everyone around, right? And at every kind of turn in this round, they were flashing for each other. They were trying to go for these aggro peaks. There's this one flash on Boros that could be used to set up his ramp man, but wrecked by the first flash. And so the, the line crumbles quickly for Monty. This defense Ooh. torn through. FaZe Clan find a way in. Still believing. Waro 2K, it's ballsy. He's trapped <laughs> out behind this smoke. Nice. And he will die as it fades. So there we go. FaZe back on the board. They break. He's caught by that flash more than he would have liked. And it kind of forced him off the angle. Oof. Playing through the smokes is Sumdai Young. There's a whole wall down in the oh, sight. And he's oh catching dear. mollies left and right. Sumdai Young manages to get out of there and stay alive. That keeps the four on four open. You can see how scary it is. FaZe don't really want to plant this bomb. And <laughs> luckily enough, they won't. MQQ relieves them of that duty. Waro 2K takes out Brokey and amidst all the chaos. And now, now that that util, that smoke screen has faded, it's to the advantage nice. of Monty. The wall bang comes in, a barrel spotted, and Rob's knocked out of the round. It's all on terrain. He's grabbed the bomb and he's going to run away. Psych. Make the footsteps, come back in. First man in Donut has so fallen for this, and they've not seen him crossing back out of main. He's got the drop on Waro here. This has got the makings of something oh. for Rain. First kill found, and he knows about the donut player. 20 seconds left on the clock. He's going to get the bomb planted. Rain in with a chance. This was a 1v2 when it begins. Rain is ready. Here's that. Knows exactly where his opponent lies. And Rain are ready to force the fight. Ready to win the first clutch out for FaZe. Another tap. He's got him right where he wants him, but he can't win the fight. It's going to be close. But I think DemQQ has got it in the 1v1. Oh, I don't... Oh. Ah. Maybe not. Oh, no! Oh, it's phase. But a 1v2 for Bray. Four short yeah. on the defuse. Peaks just late enough. So he kind of calls their bluff there and works out beautifully. Deagle opens up this round and there's still the AWP in play on Waro. He nails what? his side of the deal and Boros keeps offering up kills in defense of this B site. I'm now getting planted for phase, sure, but it's a 2v5 that they've got to hold on to. Bit of damage done to open. Twist is going to try and take space, okay. and he will do exactly that. Now it's just the cave hold left to deal with. You just can't relax. Not for a moment, Krasna. Oh, they just end it in an instant. Phase pull back a 2 on 5, and then Monty saved the day with a double. Definitely gotten more T sided, and when you consider phase's favorites as well, as you definitely should. Monty right now are as competitive as we wanted them to be in this matchup, as we expected after their performance on the RMR. Oh, un un Unscope on that Molotov, at least Boris alone. He's got to do everything. Warra re-peeks through it after smoking it and still gets that follow-up kill. A second too slow for Twist would have found that trade onto the Orb. But now FaZe again are in another two on four and Boris even goes a step further. This probably won't be cleared, right? It's so late to play this position. He goes for both, runs out oh. of ammo, twist turns around and the clutch has begun. Can they shut it out before it starts? Yes, they can. Monty win the half and solid at that nine rounds on the CT side. And that's going to reinforce the B site. Carrigan can move over quicker as well. Smokes come down, flash over the top, but it's rain with again, first blood in these pistol rounds. It's going to put us in a 5v4 control taken on long and a flash back in. It's a second too early. Boros still gets away with a kill, but Carrigan makes this round phases for now. Two on two, the retake is on. They've got a kit, but they're being cut apart. Twist has to go back for it in a 1v1 against Krasnow. 
And he's just playing it right behind the fall here. Twist is going to have to push up and clear this angle. Krasnow realizes he's not around from the long side, and now Twist oh, is making man. steps. That gives him an easy route in the 1v1. The info goes his way. Confidence coming out of main. They've already cleared the boost, right? And that's like a, a big responsibility dealt with. They've cleared Temple. So already they've really cut down the number of angles where this D can be. They're all looking at default. They're all looking at Donut. They're getting okay. taken down by Brokey, though. His Deagle stands and delivers. And now Carrigan rotates in oh. with the MP9. Spam <laughs> damage is good for Carrigan as he brings FaZe back into the fold and... Have to make it work. 20 seconds, no nades left for Monty to make moves. That one flash will push them in. Carrigan swings blind as well. And it's up to Brokey once more with another double. Twist can try and stop a bomb plant. He takes two more clean shots to close. Twist has activated in the CT side, starting to come back into his own and put FaZe up to... Even though we've talked about how the pressure is definitely more on FaZe in winning this game game for Boros as a very young player, very inexperienced land player. You know, you want, you need him, you need him to play well if they were ever going to upset this game or make a run at the major as well. And this is a guy that's, you know, only player comes up unsuspecting. They need a flash for this one. Rain tries to block the smoke. Uh, it's locked him out of the bomb site. It's only Carrigan here who can contain, can compete, and he falls after one. The mid lurk even cuts down Rops on rotation. Rain with that block smoke has a gap to fight through, but they take short space instead, and Warrior waits in the fade. Rain should be dead as Sundar Young flanks as well. Very active. Full AX sec. They're going quick. It's only Rops here. He's going to avoid flashes. He might be able to multi-kill from this position. They've not mollied it for a change. Oh, it looks awkward, but Rops makes it work. And attention getting drawn sets him up for more. Two kills from Rops is more than you could ask. And Twist falls immediately. It's up to Brokey, looking like he wants to go through this smoke. Very Brokey-esque in a position named after the man himself, but he won't do it. Warrow gets aggressive, maybe too far as Carrigan holds. And Brokey will close with his AWP as oh, well. Dude, that's a little awkward at the end there. I feel like maybe there could have been a slight laps in the community known for his headshots needs more than one here especially out on an island like this position they're going to come through with a flash twist that's a clean shot he takes two you've got to be happy with that if you're phase but is it enough is the question oh jump at the gun a bit is brokey on that backstab Whoa, they saw him. rain they run him down he gets caught overextended by just like an inch over in mid. And it makes all the difference. Now there's a route to the B plant open. When you've seen backstabs like that, you know that FaZe are trying to rotate, trying to get ahead of this play. One man still in the B site, but he'll get checked. They know about Carrigan. And so the round is Monty's. They keep it in check in spite of Twist's best efforts. Those were two clean kills to open. First half, there was like money problems, so he didn't really have it all too much, right? Haven't, haven't seen him with a glowing amount here in the second, but even when he does have the AWP, he's just been struggling to really find that impact. And you know, you're already getting a good game out of Rain and Twists. Mm. So you really just need that, that kind of one extra player to lend a bit of a helping hand here. They're hunting, they're closing, and well, a couple of kills on the way out for Rops, but unless he's gonna glass, we they seen him, I think. No, it doesn't look like it. They are screwed right now. Rain gets flashed, and there's a double. That's what we needed. That's the kind of the difference-making double that tees up this round for FaZe Clan. Now they've got to do good on what Rain started. Carrigan falls first in defense of the B side, but Rain just keeps winning. Finds himself another from the cave. Oh, Even what? spam damage. Uh, Rain knocked uh, out. Still in with a chance here, Amonti. It's just Boros left standing, and he is pincered in. They are all around him, coming up ramp, fighting him from cave. FaZe keep him in a box. That's something that FaZe do a lot on different maps. Right before Rain goes down, they throw this smoke on ramp, and that just, like, confirms to Monty, like, oh, yeah, we're safe. You know, they just smoked ramp. We can go for the boost. Knives are out. You know, nades are being pull uh, pulled as well. It's a nice move from Rain. Three kills in the round. And now FaZe can try and build this late game comeback. Quick flash, and Boros does it again, winning that cave fight. Not again! Boros can win around single-handedly, and right now he's trying to end this map in that fashion. Two kills, he's oh, finally snuffed out, but Monty has A. In A. Yeah. This bomb's gonna get retrieved, and the opportunity to...
The clock is ticking as well. Dem QQ in a one, on, one and done position. He catches Brokey, but he's still going to go down and Krasnow falls to Rops. It's a quick couple of kills for FaZe as Monty... Brokey plays so scary positions, you know, pushes in with the cable, tries to get a quick one for one as they feed him, and he will take it from a safer line instead. Smoking it off. Sun Young was going for the gun. And Rops with a 1v1. It's a huge consequence. He closes his as well. Four on two again for Monty. Bomb plant out of the window, and off the ledge goes Waro. Another round Monty will forget. Unless Krasnow's got something up his sleeve, but no bomb. And FaZe have surrounded him. 14 apiece. Probably going to give away this kill to Brokey on the AWP. It's Rops. Oh, yeah. Rops, rather. Oh, Twist just dropped a gun. And Twist Rops only hits a out. leg. They're hitting B. Now they're coming in. And now Brokey's got to hold the line. Hang on. That kill over in mid has opened up yeah. a path to rotate. Monty moving through. This AWP on Rops has got to deliver. There's not a lot of time here. And as they move in, one Ooh. kill in the right place could decide the whole He's round. Done it. Rops has done it. They keep running at him. And Rops finds everyone. Wow. Can they going to close? And it's phase to reach 15 first. Oh, Rops. Dear. That shining light has carried them through. And now map point now resides with FaZe Clan. It was too late and it was certainly too little. It felt like Twist's death had baited Monty in as well. And Rops' leg shot wasn't enough, but they didn't have the clock for that play. They didn't have the room. They couldn't trade Rops. Dry up B. FaZe will deny it. They see the orb and they don't like it. Two flashes, two smokes and a four on five. Odds are dropping by the second. Yeah, there was even damage through the spam in mid. Rain spammed down another man over towards Cave and Rops. Tries to keep fighting, tries to keep forcing the issue. Well, end up giving away one kill. Baros finds him, but he was the man dinked crossing mid through the red smoke. So he's a little more tame in this round. They thought the AWP was B. That's where they last saw it, but it has gone back to cover the CT spawn. FaZe just know it's a B hit right now. Even Brokey is leaning. They are ready to close. Oh, good damage on the spam. Am I going to try and boost up over the top of this? It doesn't really give you an angle. Garrigan's cleared out inside of the side. No and way. now Boros, they might have tagged him up to start the round, but that's still not been enough to slow this guy's roll. Wow. He's even got another. Boros is on for the ace. He started this round with 30 HP, and he's tried to be the hero to keep Monty in this. Twist pushing around, goes looking for him, and he oh. will steal it away. You thought Boros had done enough, but Twist arrives and denies the ace, finds the 1v2, and secures the opening